Radio. Welcome back. This is the interview on Millennium Radio. And just to give a reminder, in Lusaka, you are getting us on 90.5 FM, Kabwe, 93.5 FM, Kapirimposhi, 93.9 FM, and the Copper Beard is on 100.1 FM. Today we are discussing empowerment initiatives. Are they a fulfillment of money, more money in people's pockets campaign slogan that was used by the Patriotic Front? And in the studio is Mr. Chandela Erasmus Mukondo, the PF media team member in charge of information and publicity. He is also the former Lusaka Province Secretary of the PF. Now, before the break, of course, I was um, talking about uh, even all these, we were discussing actually, yes, yes, yes. even all these um, empowerment initiatives, I realization of the more money in uh, people's pockets. And I did <coughs> interrupt when you were talking about the Defense Forces recruitment. I yes. you'd want to exhaust all of that. Yes, uh, the, the prisons and then also the police. We have also extended the, the more money in our pocket by uh, constructing a... Uh, uh, housing units for these people because you know when you talk about more money in our people's pocket you are talking about those who are renting out in the compounds it means they are spending money their salaries but this time around if you hear the police have been given five five thousand houses it means that five thousand officers they are no longer in that predicament of paying rentals mm -hmm. so when we talk about um, the giving our people more money in our pocket that's what we mean so that has not happened only there but I think between 2001 to, or is it 2011 to 2015, we had seen the defense wings. The, you go to Kabwe there, you would find that uh, they, were, they were given uh, their, uh, their, 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 their shares mm -hmm. also, the, the army. And then also you come just down uh, here in Lusaka, Linda, mm -hmm. uh, what there, you find that they have massive uh, houses for, for our people in uniform. So it is, even you go as you go along Leopard Hill, um, somewhere there, you find that uh, these homes have been constructed, these housing units have been constructed for our people. If you go to Kasama, it's the same. You go to uh, Livingston, it's the same. Uh, Mazabuka, it's the same. Uh, Choma, it's the same. So basically when we are talking about uh, more money in our pocket, when you're putting more money in our, on our people's pockets, that's what we mean. Uh, People are going out, renting, is it staying in small quarters? Today, they are proud citizens as people in uniform. So that's what we mean. So when we're talking about uh, these 14,000 um, uh, youths that we have gained the security wing, especially in particular, the police, that's what we mean. We, are, we have not only given them salaries and they are adding to the security of this nation, but also we have made sure that they are have how, these are, uh, new housing units in which they are also uh, partakers. So that's what we mean. Okay. So the other thing which is outside um, uh, the civil service, that one of Western Province, uh, the Kashonat uh, project, mm -hmm. where we have engaged, I think even my, um, the deputy media director, Antonio Mwanza, talked about it. That of, we have engaged of over 60,000 uh, our youths on the, is it in Western Province, the Kashonat project, where you find it has been divided equally. Uh, 30,000 it's uh, women, and then in the 30,000 it's the uh, young lads of Zambia, uh, the Zambians. So we are only talking about Zambians here. We are not talking about the Congolese, we are not talking about Zimbabweans, South Africans, or other nationals. Strictly Zambians. Strictly Zambians. Mm -hmm. So when you want to see these numbers, you go to the police service, ask for these numbers, they will tell you. And if you are interested, you can get enrolled as it has been published in these uh, uh, national. Um, uh, newspapers. Okay. Now, um, for example, mm. this uh, recruitment which is being called yes. in, in the Defense Forces, ZNS, Zambia Army, ZAF, uh, we, there's still also the, the one pending by the police, uh, plus more other recruitments. These, among others, uh, which we can also cite, these empowerment such as uh, uh, aquaculture and mm. many other you know, funds that yes. are being allocated, mm. people may interpret them as being a campaign gimmick because they are coming uh, slightly a year before the elections. Really, is, is, is that the correct position that they probably you just want to sway people's attention and think, well, the PF is working and you bring these 
initiatives towards the election? Comrade, if uh, there is a party that has continued working mm -hmm. from the one we got into power, it's a patriotic front. We are not like the MMD, we choose to take development. Whenever there is an election, that's when you see uh, some graders, they will be packed there. Immediately an election comes, everything evaporates. But for us, if you look at uh, the infrastructure development that is taking place here in Lusaka, these um, flyover bridges mm -hmm. that we are constructing, it's because we promised the people of Zambia that uh, Lusaka would need to make it economically viable, we need to make it efficient, we, make, we need to make it effective in whatever activities we are participating. And that the removing of uh, congestion, that's not a campaign gimmick. It's in fact a campaign promise. What we have been uh, doing ourselves, we are fulfilling campaign pledges, campaign promises. We haven't started the 2026, is it 2021 to 2026 uh, promises? Because for us, what we are fulfilling is what we told the people of Zambia in 2011 and then in 2020, uh, 2016. So for those who are thinking in those lines, mm -hmm. for, for the Patriot Front is not that uh, average in thinking. For us, you can go in any town, you can go any, everywhere. We have been employing these police officers. We have been employing the prisons. We have been, been employing the army. We have been employing through and through. I was talking about this 1,000 or so, but in the MMD, mm -hmm. it was... The, Promises and promises, promises and promises. So this is up, happening for the first time. And you, I can attest to you, these jobs now, they are much more sweeter. The civil service jobs, they are sweeter as compared to the way it was in the MMD. Everyone wants to come and join the police. That's why the competition has gotten very stiff. I you remember, need, you need to have then, good points, yes, yes. I remember back then, people mm. used to admire working in the private sector, yes. especially the teachers. The banking world, yes. They didn't want to be in the civil service. Mm. Uh, we had a lot of teachers who are going to Botswana. Mm -hmm. Because you ask any teacher, or do you want to go to Botswana, he will tell you, what I used to admire uh, going to Botswana, it's happening now. A lot of people would want to go to Botswana because you are hearing, immediately you are in Botswana, you'll be given a, a car allowance. Immediately you are in Botswana, you'll be given a furniture uh, loan. Uh, those things uh, not happening here in Zambia. It is happening under the patriotic front. So these are real things that are happening and these are the things that are making people to, to, to sit back and relax and then also to participate into this politics of ours. So for the first time we have seen also everybody coming on board and expressing their views because of uh, this uh, government, the governance that we have given our, good governance that we have given our people. And then also the coming on board of this social media, which has made everybody to participate. So basically for us at the Patriotic Front, those who are saying that we have only started these things, it's a campaign being, it's unfortunate. And if you look, it cannot be a campaign a gimmick because we are doing these th incentives a year before the election they are called. So basically, for us as a patriot front, what we have been investing in, there are things like this is uh, the, the Kaliba uh, Megawatt. It takes about five years to construct. We started in 2016. So if we, it becomes operational next year or becomes operational in this quarter, are we going to call it it's a campaign big gimmick? No, you cannot construct overnight uh, an hydro power station. Uh, we talk about these uh, air, uh, is it the airports? Mm -hmm. These they take, they have taken us almost close to eight years constructing. So, can somebody come and say no when they become operational that these uh, uh, they are campaign gimmicks? No, this is infrastructure which will live beyond uh, the patriot fund itself and then also Eddie Galungu. Even if Eddie Galungo is to govern, he can only govern up to 2026. But the infrastructure that we are leaving behind, it's for, uh, for the coming 100 years or 200 years, if we, that, that can it's withstand the time. Now and no, 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 no. Okay. It, the power, just the power hydro power station, mm -hmm. the one which we have constructed there, it's the second uh, power, uh, power station we have constructed after uh, the, the Kafue North Bank. That one was done in 1978 by Kenneth Kaunda, His Excellency. And then the other one, which was done in the independence time, 
uh, uh, before the, the pre-independence days. Mm. That was in 1958. That is the Kaliba Dam. So this uh, Kaliba North uh, is the, the Kafue lower. Mm -hmm. It's not a campaign gimmick. It will live beyond. We are talking about structures which have lived beyond it. When uh, Walensky was uh, building that, was he building it for himself? He left it behind. Even to, to this very day. It, it, the, the, when we got independent, we are 3 million. Today we are 18 million. Walensky, when he built that, he left it for the people of Zambia to benefit. So even ourselves, these are not campaign gimmicks. We are a serious party and we mean business. And we want to put this uh, uh, country with its economy back on its uh, uh, legs. Mm. Right. Now, um, when we talk about empowerment initiatives that are being rolled out, such as, uh, you know, investment capital, we are seeing youths being encouraged, or actually not only youths, people to form cooperatives to access certain empowerment uh, funds, uh, others are accessing as individuals and the like. But um, from the look of things, uptake may, may seem, you know, lower than what we would anticipate. Not a lot of the youths are coming on uh, on board to actually get these monies that are being offloaded. We did see in the budget allocation you know, uh, towards uh, youth empowerment. Now, is it an attitude that uh, maybe probably the young people or the Zambians are just used to this hand-to-mouth kind of empowerment? Cash and then you, 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 you go and spend it on cars, on drinks and the like. Are we used to this attitude of hand to mouth? Unfortunately, that's the, the situation we are in. And the, under the Seventh National Development Plan, Chapter 4, that has been the main issue that uh, the Minister of Development and Planning mm -hmm. has been uh, sensitizing our people across the nation. That is to make sure that we sensitize our people that uh, they stop this in Chekereko type of living. They need to invest in two ventures that at least will make them become more responsible citizens, eventually parents. Mm. So if we look at uh, the situation as it is pertaining today and what uh, the opposition they are offering, them they have the view of giving people money uh, without uh, telling them where to invest. But uh, that has been the challenge through and through. But this government, it has demonstrated and it has continued showing the youth where to invest. And this has been agriculture. Mm. And then the other one, which has never happened since independence, is that one of the mining of the gold, mining, yes. the gold mining, manganesium, mm. others. You know, the problem is that we have youths who are only here in Lusaka, who are busy talking, talking, and they are on social, social media. media yes. But I can, I, I can tell you, there are a lot of youths who have left Lusaka. There are a lot of youths who have left these uh, uh, rural areas, other peri-urban areas who have migrated, who are now in the northwestern province, who are eastern you know, province, who are in Mumba. The money is out there. Okay. So if we have these people who want, you know, it's for the first time that, in fact, the president talked about even empowering the youths in the music world, mm. the art world. So... We have not only looked at empowering these who, have, who, have, uh, who are extremely enterprising, but also we are looking at it from the enterprising point of view of also these youths from the music industry, the artists. Yes. The artists. These, whom we can see that they are not too much on the, 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 the hard life of life, which you have spoken about, but also on the soft side of life. Mm. So basically, that has been a challenge. So I think... Uh, we need to continue what we have been preaching. Let us stop this culture of MMD where people to come and give you money without knowing where you are going to or give you money to go and open a saloon, a mm. uh, barber shop. We are talking now to go and drink. Mm. We are talking about now, let's advance. Yeah. Let us not look, let's look beyond the operating a saloon. Let's look beyond operating a barber shop, but also opening a, 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 is it a pool for under these fisheries? At least we can have these ponds yeah. where we can start harvesting the, the so much needed uh, protein, mm -hmm. and that is fish. And the deficit is too huge, meaning 87%. We have an 87% market in which to penetrate. Mm -hmm. So the youths, they fall into that one. So basically, this culture, 
um, of giving people in their hands the money. It's not there. That's why we are uh, demanding that you come as a cooperative. And the minimum of a cooperative is 20, 20 people. So if you come, the 20 of you, you tell people what you want to do, then you'll be given. Yeah. You show where you are going to invest, then you'll be given. So this is happening, and those who are serious, the serious citizens, they are taking up this in, uh, initiative and challenges. And, um, you know, these uh, challenges, they call for risk management. And uh, in economics, they say they are the risk, they are the returns. If you want to have a, a huge profit, you have to take this risk. Yeah. So basically, there is no any other return which is uh, sweeter, like that one where you have put in your sweat, you have put in all your risk. But uh, this mindset of people, which unfortunately is coming from the social media world, peddled by the opposition, where somebody is just telling you, me, I'll come and educate you, free education, I'll come and do this free, 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 free. Mm. If he, that was what he, was supposed to be done, then he, I think he wouldn't have left the garden and the, uh, is it uh, uh, paradise uh, there with our first parent, Adam and Eve. Mm. But because of the fallout, things God the way he has designed it, you have to sweat for, for this. You have to work for you to eat. Mm. So basically, it's biblical. So for those who are thinking the opposite, they are fighting... The principles that God has put in place, you need to sweat. And then after you sweat, then that's when you can have your sweet. Okay. So this attitude uh, we are not promoting as uh, under the PFO. And that's what a lot of people thought when we were talking about more money in our pocket. It was about uh, giving. Yes, yeah. the PFO now has go gotten to Bazambaja to go and party with the money. No. Yeah. What we meant is now more work. Even I think um, the, the inauguration speech, our first president, our our first party president, and um, uh, uh, is it Michael Chuviasata? He said, "We have now own power. Now this is time to work, and we have to work flat out for this. What the people has given us the mandate, we must demonstrate leadership, and it has been like that from that." day that our uh, late president uh, Juan Michael Sata was uh, inaugurated into this uh, uh, governance. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now, one other thing as we get to wind up on this issue, maybe um, skills, yes. you know, business skills, could it be, you know, some businesses, you know, might be failing. We, we did see the Hiker Buses Empowerment Initiative, mm -hmm. but uh, so to say, it went to waste because these youths that did benefit did not put to good use these, 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 this, uh, this uh, what do you call it, material, so to say, that was given, the, the Hiker Buses. And we've seen other businesses falling off. Uh, we, they start off quite well, but in the end, uh, they fail to succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, could it be that we're not doing much as, as a country with regards to uh, skills development, especially in the running of business? You know, when he, it's just that uh, there is uh, this selfishness among even uh, the youths that have uh, been empowered with uh, such initiatives. Mm -hmm. You find that the government has made available, let's say, uh, he has employed the youths, uh, which we are talking about, 2,000 youths mm -hmm. in the Ministry of Health, and then you go into this public institution, you find that the same youths, they are going out to the private to do their private practices. Is that fair, really? It, can you condemn the government that it has not employed the youths? So, starting from the health sector, we want our youths to demonstrate, to work and participate, to become effective and economical mm -hmm. to this. And then to those in the private, those, the one which was talking about the ag uh, ag buses, they were given almost close to 200 uh, buses. But you find that people were just running these buses without repairing them. Mm -hmm. Can you go for a special skill? If you yourself, you can repair your, your own vehicle. Why can't you not repair a, 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 an Iger bus for, yeah, yeah. for an association? Probably. Is that not yeah. just yeah. selfish? Yeah. You're saying, uh, well, Sivanga. Yeah. Mm, you know, the, 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 the Sivanga mentality, and then also the, the, um, it's, it is against Zambia as a Christian nation. We're expecting to behave above board because you find that people who are not even claiming themselves to be uh, Christians, they are, they, are, they are more responsible than ourselves. Mm -hmm. So basically, 
is killing people are skilled. People themselves, those who are empowered, they were drivers. They were people actually from the ground. The people who was managing that project is a former driver, a mm -hmm. uh, bus driver. And actually, he had the all arrangements uh, that he had proposed, but because of just selfishness, here and there you find that uh, they lost the track. But uh, we thank this uh, government won by Edgar Chagalungu. They repossessed them and they have given these buses, which are now operational. They are still running in the hands of other youths who are responsible now. So basically, it's just attitude of uh, the one which said no, child, child bomber. But uh, this is what we have been fighting against at the patriotic front. And then the other one is that it's important for those who have been employed as uh, youths under the army, the police, they need to be available all the time. Not immediately you are engaged. You even start drinking beer. You start being seen, being shot on the social media. This is a police officer just aged eight years is drunk. That is the unfortunate part. The other one we saw, a uh, very useful police officer who even was talking about even cardalism. No, I'm stopping because of cardalism. Mm -hmm. I failed this. Th those are some of the scenarios which you find that uh, others will come out. But uh, an overall picture is that we are managing, and these projects, their success will be monitored through the Ministry of Local Government, and then also the Ministry of Transport, and then also uh, the, the Ministry of uh, live, uh, Livestock and Fisheries. And especially where livestock and fisheries is concerned, you find that a lot of people, they don't want to be involved in it. This is where you, you sow the seed today. You have to wait for 90 days, mm. or you have to wait for maybe two years. They want immediate returns. They want the immediate returns. Mm. And some of the immediate returns is where you find somebody would hope to be given an egg bus. And then an egg bus is given, he fails to maintain. Mm. Now, can you put the blame on uh, the government? And some of these people, they are educated very much educated. So on the skilling, we have done what others they have failed to do, especially the MMD, whom we succeeded. This is the reason why these universities, they are full with youths. You will never find a university full of those who are in the 40s and the 50s. No. You will find between 18 to 35. They are the ones who are the universities. So that's where the skilling and uh, uh, training is done. And uh, it's unfortunate I think you, we need also to look at how we can also realign the curriculum, uh, Zambian curriculum, so that we move it from the proconsul point of view, <laughs> or the anthropology, yeah. to look at uh, uh, what can we do, what is road shedding, yeah. how can we participate in terms of uh, bringing in other gadgets that can help us. Yeah. So that at the end of the day, uh, we move out as uh, one Zambia, one nation. Yeah. So basically for us, we are not worried because we have done the, the, the fundamentals, and among those fundamentals which I can brag about is the, the universities. We found, is it three universities? Today we can brag we have about seven universities. So there at the universities, that's where skilling is supposed to be done. That's where uh, equipping of our youth is supposed to be done. And then other colleges and trade, uh, like Lusaka trade is somewhere there. So if somebody has to point a finger at uh, the Patriot Front, we, got, we cannot, uh, we will just say, no, we are too too clean for that. We are too smart. Right. We have done our part. We have done the infrastructure development. And now, after we have done the infrastructure development, we are giving you money. Those who want to go and uh, get educated, there are certificates, short courses. There are a lot of things. You can use part of that money. As you are doing, uh, uh, is it 11 or 12, 12 points, even two points of fish there? You can make sure that you are at least you have a five thousand for a short course, so that you empower yourself. Okay. So basically, where we are moving, the the government cannot control everything, because last time I was talking about we are operating under the open markets. We are talking about digitalization. These gadgets, education now is digitalized. You don't need the government to come and educate you. Mm -hmm. You can do some short courses just through these uh, uh, mm -hmm. open reading online. Yeah. So education is very free. That's why the Bible says in the end days knowledge shall increase. So please tap in into that profess. All right. With um, is it uh, ten months to go before the elections? Yes, yes, um, yes. And all the achievements that you are highlighting mm -hmm. that uh, the PF has scored uh, or in the eleven years in power, you know, how do you rate your chances of succeeding uh, after twenty twenty one? This competition that is coming forth. 
You are giving us 11 years in power. Yeah, we are. Is it, is it, <laughs> oh, I mean, 2011 to Yes, 2011 is now 9 years. 9 years. Oh, nine okay. Years, nine, years. Nine, nine. Okay. What, what, I like that. 11 years. Yeah. <laughs> what was in 9 years? Yes, year yes, yes, yes. I know 2011 <laughs> to 2021. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So basically, with us what we want to tell our people, you have seen us in the these are uh, Uh, almost now nine years uh, four months that we have been I think we have uh, done two two months uh, which we are now remaining about ten months as you have said mm-hmm. for us we have been fulfilling our campaign messages we, when we look back from 2011 to where we are we are the realm that constitution I think when it comes to the legal framework we have done what um, the MMD and other a government before the MMD failed to do today you have a running mate and in 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 line with the same education system and equipping our people we have put the basics that you must have at least the 12 uh, certificate if you are to represent your people uh, at council level and then also as a MP so basically uh, we have a running mate close which is very good in the sense that we had this online is it this uh, media houses which used to um uh, champion the dying of presidents today they are not talking about even if this one dies you know that the same party will continue uh, going so there is security so the constitution give us too much security and we are happy that it is continuing uh, uh, giving the people of Zambia this security and we are asking that um to to deliver as we promised in 2011 uh, uh, to give a, a people driven constitution we need also to make sure that we support the uh, bill 10 so that uh, we also as we remain there with the 10 months we make sure that uh, the women they can also come in numbers to sit in the uh, registrar to represent our people those uh, the people with disabilities they can also have representation and then also whenever we have an election somebody will be forced to concede defeat because at the end of the day we are going to have enough time in which to discuss those anomalies or disagreement uh, from the 14 days maybe to one month so basically for us even the cutting of the the campaign period itself from 90 days which is very expensive as we saw it in 2016 if it is further reduced maybe to 60 days it can be manageable mm-hmm. so that at the end of the day we devote ourselves to more national uh, important matters okay. so basically with us as a patriot front we are comfortable and uh, you know just uh, this morning i was talking about um, our Rapula mp mm-hmm. and mc sichlangwa he was talking about how it is uh, these pro- projects they are helping our people in bangweulu And then also our permanent secretary under local government he was talking of next week we'll be seeing also the official uh, commissioning of this flyover bridges so for me i'm seeing the this you know as we are coming you see there is too much congestion yeah. and this one it's it it's a lot of fuel it's also it's uh, time so if we see such projects being commissioned we we are very much uh, happy that we are addressing what we had campaigned way back uh, in 2011 that's what we are fulfilling okay. and then also the budget does is it the president talked about the 750 megawatts mm-hmm. uh, which uh, every time we are reminding our people that very soon once it is up then all these economic uh, problem we have been having they will be addressed okay. and then also i think the issue of having more money in our pockets as a nation not as individuals as a nation as we become a net exporter as we start uh, one to 2025 this will make sure that uh, is uh, back on its uh, uh, what we are promising our people right. that you will be having more money in our pocket we we'll take calls on 0962870921 0962870921 and 0953448551 the guest is Mr. Chendela Erasmus Mukondo PF media team member in charge of information and publicity he is as well the former PF Lusaka province secretary we are discussing empowerment initiatives at the fulfillment of more money in people's pockets campaign slogan the PF used in 2011
When you come through, you have one minute to make your contribution be as brief as possible. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, Brother Andrew. Good morning, Brother Andrew. How are you? Thank you. saying I don't know your number. You, you have got my number? I think I do. Oh, that, that's yeah, I think I do. Yeah, so you okay. can just leave the number with you. Because there is something that I want to share with you. Because I don't want to come with you. Okay. Thank you very much, Brother Andrew. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One minute. We know Mauga Bonji, Mami, Kalinga. That's one thing I can for Kalinga in the Mami, who is a good team. Development, Tazona, Matevenza, Aonaka, and the Vera Kabatia in my campaign, Guanji Guanji, and Kona Panga, and Nabal Kutala Kutavenza, Kushika, Kushika Lero. As well as 0953448551, this is the interview. My guest is Mr. Chandela Erasmus Mukondo. We are discussing empowerment by the peers. Good morning. Hello, good morning. 
Good morning to you. I'm through to a nice through to Millennium. Yes, you are. Your name and where are you calling from? I'm Mr. Lema. I'm calling you from within Osaka. Yes, Mr. Lema. Yes, may I contribute something? Go ahead. Thank you for coming through. Good morning. We lost that one. 0962 Good morning. Mandani? Mutumira Kutwa Cosmos. Pitizan. Okay. Um, I think we can respond to this. The time will allow, we can take another set of calls. Okay. Uh, they have uh, spoken about uh, the farmer. Yeah. Um, he is saying we have done extremely bad on the farmer, 115 on the bag of milk after all that hard work. Yeah. And you remember very well when the Republican president moved that one from, is it a tequacha? to 115 and how the speculators they came on board trying to exploit that you know it's unfortunate that um uh, the, the, the maze it's a political crop and others they find it as an opportunity to hit back as uh, the patriot front but i'd want to um uh, echo the statement of one cosmos whereby Zambia will depend on the maize. And uh, anyone who touch on the maize, then uh, you are queer baby, as you said. So basically, as uh, the patriot, we have been very sensible when it comes to the issue of uh, the farmer. And this is the reason why, among the milestones that we have achieved, the, according to the question that you have said, it's that of distribution, just distributing of these uh, farm, farmers' inputs under the uh, feasible input program. Yeah. We have uh, managed for the first time to deliver uh, before October to all the 116 districts. These 116 districts, they have 116 district commissioners. They can uh, confirm with you that we have done the distribution and every farmer that today we have received this. Why have we achieved that 
milestone. It's because of the infrastructure. These roads they are first talking about. Yeah. They are putting aside. You know, my roads, my panga, my tamushe, what, what. But we were failing to reach Mbila. We were failing to reach Nakonde. We were failing to reach Vubui. Uh, and then all these far-flung areas because the roads were extremely bad. Yeah. So, with the, the program that we had, the way we had laid the plan, that is first infrastructure development under this 8,000 uh, Zambia, in Zambia, we have continued making hen roads in these far flung places. That's why today, even before the rain season starts, we have already distributed. Um, it's just unfortunate that uh, he's also saying we need to subsidize further. We cannot subsidize further because we are also borrowing uh, a lot of money from outside to make sure that we answer other strategic sectors like the energy sector where we have globally more than 3.9 billion US dollars, just to make sure that this electricity challenge, which our friend Kalema was talking about, because we continue buying docking, is it a docking of uh, a machine? It starts pumping electricity to, uh, from uh, Mozambique. Mozambique or somewhere there, and then you pay 20 million per month. Yeah. Is that fair? Why not uh, involve something, uh, instead of paying something within 24 days, you pay 30 million? You invest 3.9 billion and then you enjoy for the coming hundred years. Mind you, this one it's also talking about the future Zambians who are coming. At independence were 3 million. Today we're 18 million. Uh, 2026, which is talking about saying, no, Edgar Rungu, Muteka until 2026. How many Zambians will, how many Zambians will be there in 2026? We will be talking about 26 million Zambians. We'll be talking about 26 million Zambians because when you got into power, we are only 13 million. We have added 5 million. So, if 11 million added, 13 million added 5 more million, 18 million, we're expecting they'll add at least maybe even 10 million. So, we'll be around even 26 million, 30 million. And this is what, this is the reason why we cannot only put um, uh, the, 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 the investment in one in agriculture alone. But we are also sharing. We need also to put an investment in uh, uh, in energy, mm -hmm. and then also education. And for the first time, these are some of the milestones. By 19, is it 2019, the school education system we have gotten rid of leakages, meaning we are no longer baking useless uh, graduates. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the achievements that we are doing. This is the reason why today it's not a miracle that we are able to deliver across the nation these uh, uh, farmers' inputs, it's because of the same roads you are talking about. Mm -hmm. So when we get to Kingford, the economy is too high, and then he was expecting the targets. But uh, Tawa Kingford, this is a very brilliant contribution, but at the same time, he in the Lama Tulewa Kuma targets, to fill it to Adipira, Ama Yorobondi, to Avika Pa, Ama Roj Mureta enjoy, to Ari Kongwele, she in the Lama Shilewa Kuma put aside, so that the younger child's are due to Adipira. That's what we are doing at the moment. So by 2022, when you finish your Eurobond, then that's when we can now start thinking of subsidizing other, other sectors. But for the time being, we need to be right to the fact that whatever we are enjoying, these roads that we are enjoying, this flyover bridge that you are, used, you are seeing, it's because we have brave, we are, this brave uh, party has gone out there to borrow, to make sure assuring the people out there, the creditor, that we are going to pay back. So this is where we are at today. So we need to... Fidia salary ya banga mwafora, nga mwadiro mbako kaloni kakupangenga, nda teture tuwala fidionze mkuri ya ingoko na mani na transport. Yo kura vika kunganita 1,500. 500 will be going towards Zama blocks, balaba mipere reko. So until you finish that project, that's when you are going to have all oh, this year about 1.5. So with us, the Patriot Front, that's what we are doing. So I think the other one, Wakalenga, we are very happy. You are actually uh, edified or clarified. What others were just thinking that this is propaganda. Yeah. It's happening. Go to Kafu, uh, to Kawe there. They will tell you there's this empowerment which our people putting more money and they are calling these, uh, some of the places like Kulandani, Kubenjini, all these nice places because they know that our men and, our men and women, uh, women in uniform. Now, 
they can walk proudly, they can drive proudly to their working places without going through bus station, without going through uh, these embarrassing moments. So this is why, this is the reason why the president, one, um, one Michael Satari, and that Bakapokola, you no longer look like you are wearing uh, the, 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 the box or the box. But you will be given that uh, back, the dignity right. that they will got from you. All right. We take care of the last set of calls. Just a few. We have a very limited time to go. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? This is from Tavanga. Good morning, Mr. Mokon. Good morning, Comrade Zephania. Thank you very much. Well articulated. Thank you. It's an addition to what you are saying. Thank you. We want to appreciate the PF government for what they have done in nine days. In all the texts, they have at least tried. You know, it's just uh, we always want to politicking to say that the people who decided to be blind when they see Zambia changing. And I want just to thank uh, the late Michael Professor that when he said Zambia to get a chance in a book, I'm sure when you look at today, Zambia has changed. And this is the way to go and President Edgar Lungu for continuity, and we say continue 2021, we are waiting for you, Mr. President. And thank you very much for all what you have done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Bob. Good morning to you. I am here. 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 We know we don't have to go to the Mulenga, Chulungam. Nangama hospital. Okay, um, I don't know. We, uh, we can okay. I think you want to respond to this. Uh, we yes, Comrade Mwinga, I think he's already a PF. He has already moved. He has said that he's with us. He has seen that we have done the infrastructure development, and there is no um, somebody who can come and complain that I will bring Panados and vote for me. Mm. Basically, this is what we are doing, because these are now administrative. They are now under the civil service. Mm. When you talk about uh, the lacking of medicine, the money that have been made available. So the procurement, they are supposed to be done by the civil service, and uh, that cannot square the fall on the, the executive. So basically, the other one is uh, Comrade um, Zephenea. He talks about the nine years and what he uh, we have been doing, and he brought a very good word of uh, to parent Zambia to ka to ka to ka to ka wash. So this is what we have been doing. So I cannot talk more than what he has said. And uh, otherwise, as a patriot front, I'm very proud to stand here to tell our people that we have done almost eighty percent of what we promised our people of Zambia, and we have continued. Uh, providing the so much needed uh, uh, development. In some other sectors, we have even provided, even in fact, more, more than 100%. Like in the energy sector, we can even sit 1,000%, more than what we even anticipated to do. So basically, we have this one uh, one leader, one Edgar Chagwarungu, is very brilliant, not only brilliant, but very brave. It's because he has been making these uh, very unpopular, but uh, very brave decisions. 
and this is the reason why today we can still maintain where we had the elections in Lukasha, in Manasabombwe, here in Osaka, on the Copper Belt, in Western Province, we are making inroads it's because the people of Zambia, they know, and they know the trajectory, and uh, they know the narrative. And I continue urging our people out there, remain resilient, remain supportive, remain patriotic, and support one Gachagalungu so that we may continue reaping where we have been sowing. Come next week, you witness another flyover bridge will be uh, commissioned by one Edgar Chagwalungu. So, for those people in Lusaka, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the congestion of Lusaka, we are doing it. I thank you. Thank you so much. We've been talking to Mr. Chandela Erasmus Mukondo, PF Media Team member in charge of information and publicity. He is also a former PF Lusaka Province Secretary. And of course, I must say thank you so much for coming through to share with the people, of course, uh, progress being made with regards to empowerment. Thank you for having me. Until next, actually, until tomorrow at the same time, continue listening to Millennium Radio and uh, good morning.